Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being so patient and wait for us. You know, with those live shows, sometimes there are some technical difficulties that we have to overcome to make sure that we bring the show to you and we have some fun with you. And this week, do I have some fun show for you? We are going to play some games because today's show is not going to be the usual. Then I'm going to show you what's new and exciting, what's new kits we made in our studio. But I want to almost transform you and take you to a... Um, like I would have a booth at quilt market. How would I welcome you to my booth and do like a virtual booth because I'm not at quilt market this year and I'm not going to be at festival. I thought I welcome you here and we try to ha have fun anyway. So I have quilts prepared for you with the quilts. We're going to review what we've done this year. I'm going to show you some new and super exciting things for next year because quilt market and oh, let me step back and just explain to you guys in case you don't know. So every year uh, there is an event called Quilt Market and all the designers, all the fabric companies, everybody got everybody in quilting industry, sewing, quilting, they gathered together for this amazing market. All the uh, fabric companies bring brand new fabrics, all the designers shows, all the new designs in patterns, in fabrics and anything in quilting industry. And I love quilt market. And right after quilt market, it happens in Houston, uh, happens quilt festival. So at the quilt market, this is a wholesale show. So a lot of times only the shop owners can come in and look at it, all the brand new fabrics and choose them to bring them to the store. So that way customers can purchase them. But guess what? You are the customer. You can go ahead and look at amazing things and go visit your quilting store and ask them, hey, buy Edita's fabrics. She has this new collection called Primrose. Yes, you get to see a preview of a brand new collection that is not available yet. It is coming up in January, but I have the first uh, pieces of fabrics. I want to show them to you just like I would be showing them to our quilting stores at Quilt Market. Is that fun? I think you're going to love it. You get to pick through. We're going to browse. Then I'm going to go through some quilts that I want to show you. And with those quilts, we're going to reminisce in our year, all the things that we have done it this year. We had so much fun and we're still working on some fun things for the end of the year. So maybe you get a little peek and a preview for those. But with every quilt, stay tuned, stay watching, because with every quilt, we're going to play a little game. You know how we usually I ask you just one question for the show? This time I have 12 questions for you. And with every question, you get to win some prizes. So the person that answer first get to get a prize. So listen what I'm telling you about my quilts, because there may be some clues and you want to catch those clues and you want it to be the first one. We're going to be giving out patterns. We're going to give it out a kit and we're going to give it out a bundle. So I'm super in a jelly roll, super excited for you guys. So let's do that. Let's have some fun. So on the table right here in front of me, I have this brand new collection called Primrose. And if you were to come to my booth at Quilt Market, I would want to share everything about this new collection with you. Look at those gorgeous pieces, one after the other, just amazing. Yes, this is the big print. It has a, you think it's black, but it's a dark cocoa, like the most beautiful dark chocolate background. Look at how stunning it is. The accent in it, I chose that beautiful little blue right there. I'm going to start lining the pieces. B uh, gorgeous paisley, little berries in a lighter brown. The berries are so lovely. Some of the greens have like an olive green, like a uh, really, really nice green. I love that shade of green with a little sparkly green in it. Look at that polka dot. We have some brand new prints, some brand new stripes, but also I redid some of my favorites in this collection. So you get to experience some beautiful, beautiful pieces. And I'm going to keep unpacking those so you get to see all the pieces. Notice this blue. I love this as a sashing. 
oh, that is gonna be amazing. And look at it, another big print, and this time on a blue background. Look how nice it goes with all the other fabrics that we have. And on the top, on the table, I have a quilt called um, Charm Basket. This Charm Basket quilt is made with 202 little charm blocks from all different collections. So Charm Basket, there are 202 baskets in it, and look at all different collections, how it mix and match. And I chose that quilt as my first quilt because I want to show you how all those brand new fabrics that I'm designing for you, you can just go ahead and purchase whichever pieces you desire and mix and match with all the wonderful things that you have already purchased from us and how nice it mix and match. This collection has very traditional flavor. I want to to create this group because guess what we have a brand new block of the month coming up you didn't see that yet but i'm telling you about it right now that's what i would be doing at quilt market i will be sharing that we have uh, all this new fabric new patterns and i will show you more about the primrose in upcoming weeks as we coming towards january and prepping for it and of course when i announce uh, just before thanksgiving we're gonna announce our next block of the month you are gonna be so excited about it because it is going to be just beautiful so that is our primrose collection i love this group because there are a lot of pieces in it and i can really tap into it to create a gorgeous traditional quilts with it with a lighter background it's gonna be a little bit more sparkly a little bit more contrast but if you choose more muted backgrounds the color is gonna just blend and melt beautifully together so look at this isn't that stunning collection wasn't that fun to look at it so our grand prize today our grand prize for our uh little uh, show and you have to watch the whole show to know that's going to be my last question somebody is going to win one half yard bundle this bundle that i have right here from this collection so i'm putting your bundle to the side yes keep watching so you can be the winner and get this bundle and be right on the top of it so but before we start oh it's so excited i'm so thankful you are here this year has been like no other year. I mean, there were ups, there were downs, but we managed through all of them and we keep pedaling through it and keep going. And I think that is the most important message for this year. Just keep going. We started our year with a lot of beautiful scraps and I created this quilt called um, charm basket with some of those scraps look at this quilt small little basket applique handle like i said 202 baskets in it so exciting i used a lovely light background with a beautiful blue for the border isn't that stunning quilt look at this all oh, this gorgeous basket i want to bring it all the way so you get to see it isn't that lovely I love making scrappy quilts. The backgrounds in these quilts are combinations from secret stash to um, our of all different pieces from different collections. One of the main collection in this one was our seamstress collection that we did it last year. And this was this pretty much what it, our year started just with scraps in february we opened our heart into beautiful fat eight bundle and created this gorgeous quilt that i made it with you through a live show and this is be mine and i love this show oh and before i go to this quilt I have a question for you. This is your first contest. I hope you paid attention to that first quilt. How many baskets I had in my scrappy basket quilt, my charm basket quilt? How many baskets was in the charm basket quilt? And as you posting your answers, I'm gonna keep showing you the next quilt. We have an answer? We do. Beautiful, okay, who yeah. answer? Um, we've got, um, let's see. Pooj Art, uh, 202 charm baskets. Wonderful, exactly 202 charm baskets in our charm basket quilt. Congratulations, you are winner of a pattern for that quilt. And 
Uh, in the end of the show, please remember, email us uh, your information so we can ship all those goodies that you guys are going to be winning during that show. Okay, so just remember, you're going to be answering questions. Watch the show. Don't go to the computer right now to, to send us an email. Watch the whole show because you may be twice a winner if you keep up with the answers. So just keep watching and we're going to be asking you questions and then you will email us your email so that uh, your address so we can ship you the gift that we have it for you. Now back into this beautiful quilt made from Fat Aid Bundle. This one was Be Mine. And in this quilt, I use one of my older collection called um a little sweetheart but guys the new strawberry and cream you it's just so yummy you can't stop making quilts from it that would be a beautiful bundle a fat aid bundle from strawberry and cream for this quilt amazing and we have some gorgeous backgrounds so this one was the february falling falling in love with quilting again and making a beautiful project all oh, learning something new and exciting in March, we started our block of the month. Isn't that unbelievable? And right now, this month is our last month we are shipping. Oh, and before I tell you about this quilt that I have on the table, question for our previous preview um, quilt. Be mine, what bundle did I use to make that quilt? Anybody remember what bundle I, I used? What size bundle? Is it Jelly Roll? No, it's not Jelly Roll. We have a winner. We do have a winner. Yes. I'm so happy. Guys, you're listening. Pay attention. Yes. Pay attention. It's uh, Christine. Hi, Christine. All right, Christine won a Fat Aid Bundle. For our Be Mine, we use Fat Aid Bundle. So uh, if you wanted to make that quilt, uh, our strawberry and cream is perfect right now and we have fat eight bundles for that one now remember i told you in march we started our block of the month and can you believe right now we're cutting all the finishing pieces and your last block let me bring this quilt higher look at this your last block is that center beautiful medallion block that you're going to be getting in a mail at beginning of november and you are gonna have a beautiful quilt that you can put uh, all the blocks all the pieces that you can put together to create a beautiful quilt that is amazing and yes for be mine the winner won a pattern so i'm super excited for her now this quilt isn't it stunning before i put it away let me ask you our contest question what uh, uh, month did we start our block of the month last year. Isn't it gorgeous backing? Look at the backing on this quilt. And speaking of backing, um, we have a lot of beautiful fabrics from Lady Tulip collection, and you can go ahead and purchase them. And yes, for the front of the quilt. So the question was, what month I have did- a winner on Facebook. Michael has a winner on Facebook. Hello to all our friends on Facebook. I'm so glad you're watching. Who is the winner, it's Michael? Terry. Terry, and the month was March. Yes, so we started our block of the month in March, and that's what we're going to do it this year too. Our block of the month is going to start in March again for next year, but we're going to announce it before November, so you have time to sign up and really uh, plan on it and join us. So super, super excited about that. Oh, this is great. So Lady Tulip was our block of the month. Beautiful uh, six inch finish blocks and now like i said the center block borders binding are being shipped to you guys and your sashing and cornerstone so we can finish that wonderful project and be ready for holidays and start something new so that was march in april we took it home oh with this lovely quilt that you have waited so long for me to create this pattern it is amazing and we do have a ruler that comes out to make houses so stay tuned there's gonna be some wonderful things and this quilt oh 
It has nine gorgeous houses in it. Isn't it beautiful? I love using a yellow in my quilt. It just sparkles. And I reverse the color for this one because I want the background to be the darkest. I want the houses to be light and just beautiful. You know, sometimes when you look at in a distance and you see that whitewashed house, that's what I imagine a little schoolhouse, someplace far away, just painted in white, ready for my students to come in and study quilting. And speaking of study, I hope you listened how many houses I have in my um, teller shop a quilt. How many houses do I have in my teller shop quilt? Isn't that fun? You're loving it. You guys are on the top of it. We got the answer. We do. It we do. So on YouTube, Valerie. somebody answered. Valerie, wonderful. And how many? Erin, please. There are nine houses. Nine houses in our teller shop pattern. Oh, I am so happy for you guys. You just rolling with it. And speaking of rolling, Jelly Roll is the perfect cut for this quilt. Jelly Roll. And in this one, I'm using scraps from Seamstress and I'm using scraps from our linen texture. And this pattern, this quilt calls the a Holiday Forest one of my personal favorites. I am so glad I made this quilt. I'm getting ready to finish some fun quilts for the holidays and this is going definitely fit right in. So Jelly Roll was the uh, um, cut that I used, the bundle that I used to make this quilt. I only put a border on the left and the right for this quilt and what is so special on this quilt, I reused all my leftovers and used them in a binding. So I have beautiful colors going all the way around in greens and like a teal. So all the leftover blue greens, I put it around the binding. What a fun quilt. So the question for this quilt yeah. Actually, I think we need a new question. We need a new question. We do. Why? There's what? About twenty people already. <laughs> twenty people already, <laughs> guys. All right. So All maybe, right. Uh, maybe a little trick question, something on the fly. Oh, uh, a trick question, just really quickly on the fly. What is the new notion that we developed this year? What was a new notion that at the same time as we were working on these projects? Yes, yeah. So what was a new notion that I did this year? And I would have been showing that notion to everybody at Quilt Market. Checker is carrying this notion. A lot of quilting stores are carrying. It has something to do with carrying your needle when you travel. Ooh. We have it. Jesse Powers, so daisy. So Daisy was a new notion for this year. Look at how much fun it is. You guys would love to come to Quilt Market. It's always so energizing. At the Quilt Market, not only I get to stand in front of my beautiful fabric collections and show my gorgeous fabric, but you know the most wonderful part? I get to see all the other people in quilting industry that are so important and so influential to our everyday project and fun from sewing machine to fabric to notions to all these other things that happen in quilting. So quilting market, definitely a special place to be and a quilting festival where all the vendors that have been shopping at quilting market now can show those beautiful things to you at quilting festival and you as a customer can come in browse and shop i know you love big events and fun events do you know what is my favorite event of the year your mystery quilt and this year i don't know how we did it don't ask me but we pulled off two mystery quilts. We had one for all our lovely customers that love, love, love Alaska ruler. Isn't that amazing? This quilt was made especially for those customers. We had a mystery quilt showing off how to use Alaska ruler and we made the Montana quilt. This is our ter third quilt in a row third one that we have done it for mystery quilts we did montana we did our um california and then what was our second one 
Michael, you're not supposed to be answering that question. Look at that. Look at this. Michael, that question is for the He's girls. So eager. He's so he eager. is so eager. Michael, you you did not win. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we're going to have to I'm come up with a new question. <laughs> so we have three mysteries already. California, Michigan, and now Montana. I wonder what next year brings. Which state we going to celebrate and our quilting friends. Oh, are you excited for next year mystery quilt? Don't worry, I got it. But we actually had more than three. We had four because this year we did two. We also had Arizona, I wanted to remind you. So we had four mystery quilts already. I'm so excited. So, but back to this quilt. This was our spring mystery quilt. And this one was um, made with Bluebird Collection. I love this quilt because especially in the end, I was able to use this gorgeous panel of eight point stars. This was so delightful, easy to make. This quilt is pre-cut, so it was fun. To, uh, to do it, but I remember when we first started, you guys had to cut all your pieces and do all the work. Later on, we used this quilt for our uh, wonderful retreat and the girls made it at a retreat. Like I said, this quilt was made with one of my favorite collection. Can you tell me what collection was for this year? Oh, those blue and white fabrics were flying off the shelf. You loved it so much and I loved it too. So this was our mystery quilt and from then we moved on to another wonderful quilt. On Facebook we have an answer, yes? I have, ooh, ran away from, it came so quick after that first one. Yes. Um, Bluebird was Donna. Yes. Donita. Uh, Danita. Danita. Danita, it was a Bluebird collection that I used for that quilt. So remember, when we finish the show, it's going to be super important. Everybody that won, that we call out your names, make sure that you go ahead and uh, 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 email us your address. So that way we can send your door prizes because we have some patterns for our holiday forest. Somebody want a jelly roll. So keep going. We're going to make sure that you get the door prizes that we have ready for you. We are super excited you are here and wanted to watch and play with us. And speaking of playing, I could not stop playing with this crazy Alaska ruler. And I'm still doing just wait. You see the next quilt that I'm making with Alaska ruler. So special. And I wanted something quick and easy for July. 4th of July, one of my favorite holidays because I can celebrate being American and I just love this quilt that I celebrate with it. This one calls Liberty Star. I took my leftovers from Bluebird Collection. Then I add some little sweetheart reds. Can you imagine the strawberry and cream in it? And the blue escape that we have. Oh, those colors would be just as gorgeous for this quilt. And that's what's so fun. A lot of times I keep the same tones of my fabrics. So that way you can add more, get more fabrics, blend it with the ones that you have. If you have a project that you keep working on it, keep working on it, you can add to it and add to it. So like I said, this one was fun. And can you tell me what did I use to cut this quilt? How did I cut this quilt? There was something that I used. I know you guys know it. I have bragged about it and shared with you about it. And I'm gonna start moving to our next quilt. Yes, Arizona, so much fun, so much fun. Our summer was so delightful. You guys were just a gem. We started early in the summer. We have an answer. We do, um, from YouTube. From oh, Liberty I a, Star. Uh, you know, I actually really like this nickname, Free Spirit. Free Spirit? Yes. Oh. So Free Spirit, she answers? She did, Alaska Ruler. Alaska, that's such a beautiful name. And you know we have a Free Spirit pattern. You maybe need to get that one. We're going to add to the uh, gift that you're going to get a wonderful free spirit pattern so you can celebrate your name. Oh, this is amazing. So this one was our Arizona 
Mr. Quilt. We did this all summer. You were so fun to work on this. A lot of you have sent such a good comments. You have learned so many amazing things. And with this quilt, we have learned that sometimes things not what we expect. Nothing is what it looks like. So this was so much fun. We started with half square triangle, end up with this amazing piece. So all this fun stuff that we have done it. And this was our mystery for the summer. Can you tell me what fabric did I use to make this quilt? This is the question. Oh no, and I have a second question for you. Yes, yes, yes. So tell me, can you guys tell me what fabric did I use? And I wanna show you, as you're trying to figure it out what collection I use for this quilt, I'm trying, I'm gonna show you something on the back. Look at this scrappy back, look at this. I showed you how to take your leftovers from the front of the quilt and create a super cool scrappy back, which just, down. yes? Yeah, so it, yeah she went second time. Yep. second time. The second time, if you're paying attention. Yes. There was two before, but they weren't quite right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I need to got it again. Okay. And what and answer it. was it? Linen texture. Linen texture. Oh, oh what oh, number? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, you have to tell us what number. Linen texture oh. is, we have linen I, texture I did one. Have one come through on Facebook. Then you, you or on, on uh, YouTube. YouTube. You must have things, because I don't have anything. Uh, Deb B, linen texture two. Deb B is the oh. winner. You oh, have so to give a whole number. So and now we, we have three. Yes, <laughs> yes. So we have mm. this collection called linen texture. And I'm gonna show you one of the pieces. Oh, I have it right here. And you know me and yellow, just to show you. So this is a linen texture fabric. Look at how gorgeous it is. It's not linen, it's a cotton. Just the design that it's printed on it, it mimics look of a linen. So you have like those delicate lines that it looks like an extra weave and little extra something. I love this as a background because I love a solid, but I don't like it that it's like completely flat. I need some texture to it, but delicate texture. So this gives me a great texture and look at how gorgeous the quilting shows up on it. So I really, really enjoyed it. So this is just beautiful. So we have linen texture one, linen texture two, and linen texture three. Linen texture three is our brand new one and this is the one that I matched to our practical magic so if you need an extra little background oranges this or that you can go ahead and grab it so this was our mystery quilt right after the mystery quilt I got to spend a weekend with our retreaters it was so much fun. So every retreat, we create awesome project. Our spring retreat, we did our mystery quilt, but for our fall retreat, we surprised the girls with something super special. It was all about log cabin. And I brought an old antique log cabin for you because I want to tell you something. We have a bundle on our website that is a uh, um, bundle that I took and matched it up to all the log cabin pieces in this gorgeous antique quilt. I have to show you this bundle. It is stunning. And we just added to our website. It was our bundle that we did for our girls at the retreat, but I saved some of the fabrics because I wanted to do that with you guys. And this is one of the next patterns that we have coming out. I'm gonna make a pattern for this antique log cabin because so many of you have been interested in it. So why not? I have the bundle for the dark side. Now lights, you can use either your scraps or we have some fun bundles. And stay tuned because we have a special surprise for you. In the end of the show, all of you guys going to be a winners because I'm gonna give you a code a quote and you can use that code on our website to get extra discount. So you can go ahead and purchase 
fat eight bundles with extra discounts so stay tuned because i want to treat all of you guys for watching the show for something super special but back into it this low cabin is so cute i love that it has blue centers and it is just a wonderful inspiration for something fun and exciting i cannot wait to make my own this one is an antique one that i was so so lucky to purchase i already made some blocks and i know exactly what i'm going to do the blocks gonna be slightly smaller not a lot and you're going to love it i'm telling you it's so fun so easy we may be doing it together as a little quilt alone how do you feel about it we just finished today our elden quilt alone so maybe we can plan for another little sneak thin quilt alone just something quick but don't worry i have so many fun plans for next year for you we're gonna have fun and speaking of log cabin there is another one this one calls pioneer log cabin another one with gorgeous blue centers and this one was our log cabin from our retreat it's all completely pre-cut for you it's made with blue bird collection and the question for both of the quilts is what center do i have in my log cabin blocks as i'm hiding this quilt away from you guys what center color i use for the blocks in the log cabin isn't that fun look at this trip around the world speaking of little squares and building stuff up around the center you have it on facebook yes Danita, you go, girl. You go, girl. I'm so. Clear enough on the first one, but that's, a, that's it. Again. That's okay. What color that's was it, Mike? Blue. 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 Fantastic. I am so proud of you. You're doing so good. We're having so much fun. Now, can I ask you guys something? Could you do me a favorite? Please, please share with your friends a link to this video so they can have some fun, watch all this beautiful show, and that way they can be ready for our upcoming shows. We're going to do this more often that we want to play with you guys and have some just just crazy quilting fun talk about shapes and ask you some question and see if you're paying attention and enjoying and give up some cool door prizes so if you have a friend that it's a quilter non-quilter just want to play please please uh, share this uh, link with them for our youtube channel videos uh, so that way they can join us we would very much appreciate and when you finish watching make sure it gives us thumbs up leave us comment we always look forward to uh visiting with you so and the bonus they'll get that coupon code yes yes and you know you can get the coupon code for their cell uh for extra uh little something for you guys only through watching this youtube video so no one else we're not gonna send out newsletter we're not gonna tell anybody about it we're gonna ask you guys to come here to see that coupon code so you can go ahead and get a little something special because it's a price for you so and now price isn't that so simple so fun made with layer cake oh I love that layer cakes have 42 pieces. That is so nice. 42 squares in a layer cakes was the base for this beautiful quilt. And I add just a little bit extra. And we are getting ready to show you a video how to make this quilt. This is my next little video that I'm working on it. I'm prepping the step by steps. We just finished our Elden quilt. So I was a little busy with that. But this I have to show you because I cannot wait to make one for the holidays with my Noel layer cakes. So this calls trip around the world and I'm creating basic patterns line that you guys could go ahead and use pre-cuts from, uh, uh, from your stash and make those wonderful simple patterns. So trip around the world and I'm going to show you how to do it with a layer cake. And speaking again of a layer cake, how many... Uh, squares is in a layer cake does anybody know how many squares are in a layer cake oh. already no. well no yeah. there were some ladies that answered before but i am waiting till after you finish the question and just so that they know that's what we have been doing so just in case you do have a delay uh so that person is shelly edwards shelly edwards or i'm so sorry did you ask the fabric collection and the quantity Yes, you did. Okay. 
So that actually is... I actually asked just the quantity. I told okay. them how, what okay. fabric collection was yep. it. So was it Shelly Sing Edwards. Shelly, congratulations. So, so glad. So guys, keep your answers to it. I ask you the question. I mean, you're already guessing. I'm going to have to be more sneaky in my questions. <laughs> you are really fun to play with. Okay, next time I'm gonna be hiding clues in the quilt. Let's see if you can come up with the answers. That is gonna be so much fun. Uh, look at this gorgeous quilt. And speaking of collections, Seamstress was our big collection for last year. This year, I think the big one was Lady Tulip. And now, of course, our Practical Magic could not come at a better time. Look at this stunning group and oh, if you see what I'm working on it for next year, you are going to be like, I love it. Give it to me. I want more. This quilt calls Alaska and we have four quilts that we have done it pre-cut. We have Alaska Practical Magic. That's the one that I'm holding the quilt up right here. And it tells you it's end of the year. Some projects are not finished yet. So quilting has to be done to this one. And um, another one that we did we did a blue uh, alaska we did a rainbow alaska and we have a holiday alaska so we have four different alaska quilts and this one like i said it's the practical magic the fabrics are so beautiful and they're going to mix and match perfectly with our brand new collection from our primrose that it comes up in january so if you got some pieces and you wanted to have something more to it your uh Primrose going to be perfect for that one. I'm going to put this to the side right there. So keep playing with us. Oh, and my question for um, Alaska Practical Magic, how many Alaska quilts do we have pre-cut online for you guys? And I'm going to move on to Noel Fabric. Look at this Noel Fabric. And Facebook has it already. Facebook Ooh. has it. Yeah. Yes. Um, guys, this is so much fun. One I have that popped up is Crafty Purple Cat. Crafty pur Purple I like Cat. It. Crafty That's Purple Cat. So cool. And what was the answer? It was four. Four. Woo! That's right. We have four Alaska pre-cut kits right now. We will have some other things pre-cut next year. Uh, not from Alaska, from our Primrose. So stay tuned. So many fun things. So many beautiful things coming up. But let's don't rush through things. Let's take time and enjoy it. And I really loved taking my time and enjoying my Alaska ruler project after project after project i cannot tell you how much fun it was to make this lovely quilt this one is made from noel fabric and uh, i just love this quilt it calls amaryllis it's set on point it's an eight point star it's made from three rows of uh, eight point star blocks and it's just just beautiful, so nice. I cannot wait to make more of those quilts in all different color options. And I used a really nice bundle for that from Noel. We have kits if you want it, we have the pattern. This one is wonderful. So once again, I wanna show you a bag for this quilt. Isn't that stunning with those little polka dots? Um, the question is, what collection did I use for this quilt? And on this one, I think we should do something a little different. I love that. Okay. Some people have different connection speeds. So we're going to go ahead and pick the fifth person to answer correctly. Oh, I love that. Why don't we do that? Because it's just, it gives a chance to the girls that have a little slower internet. Isn't that fair? And please, please, please don't be upset if you did not win. Guess what? I have a prize for all of you guys when the show finish. We have something for all of you. You get that coupon code so you can use it on our website and get a little extra discount and treat yourself for something nice. 
We do have a winner. Yes. And that is Julie Fromelt. Julie, congratulations. I'm so, so proud of you. Thanks you for, for answering. And yes, the answer was Noel Fabrics. That was the collection I used for this quilt. And speaking of unfinished projects, today was our last day that we have played with Elden Quilt Alone. If you did not watch those videos, they are free. You can just watch think about it. Don't be afraid of why seams. You just have to think about one little area at a time and just a little bit of patience. So go to our YouTube channel and watch. Maybe you want to try just one block, one block. I'm telling you, it's going to be like potato chips. You're going to get one block. You're going to want another. You're going to want another. And then you end up with 16 blocks. And you're going to have a gorgeous Elden quilt. And um, this one is the end of the year. We did a quilt alone. So right now we're just finishing that. We're winding things down. The next event that we're going to have is our 12 days of Christmas. And uh, speaking of Eldon, uh, isn't that beautiful? I'm going to ask you a quick question and maybe you're going to have to go and see it. Um, at uh, I'm hiding the quilt so you don't see it. How many uh, log cabins are in an Eldon block. How many log cabins are log cabin blocks are in an Eldon block? So I'm gonna let you think about that one for a moment and enjoy it. But um, I love doing the more difficult projects, and I think that is something that you like to come to me for, and we enjoy a little bit of that. Love to show you some beginner stuff, but also the more difficult project. Just talk you through it. Sometimes you just dream of climbing that mountain, and you know this year was challenging for me, and I'm dreaming of finishing the year and climbing that mountain and just stand strong again so I can enjoy doing things. And I'm speaking of my food, you know, I'm still in physical therapy, just pedaling, trying to get healthier and healthier so I can walk better and I can do things better and enjoy just you know, girls think running around and getting more fabric and running around and getting more fabric. So that's me. And Mike, speaking of conveniences, Michael has the winner for Eldon. Yeah, Wonderful. It was Terry Jepson. She was the fifth oh, one to get the answer number eight. The answer was eight. Okay. Oh. Yes, there are eight, and I hide that box so you couldn't <laughs> see it. There are eight cute log cabins around it. Look at this. Eight cute log cabins. I'm telling you, even if you make one block for a pillow and achieve that, do those few Y seams and try it. Just pin, pin, that's all. Mark your points and pin it. You will be so pleased. I'm so thrilled with so many girls that it's already doing this quilt. And for this quilt, I use the kit. I did not, um, uh, I, you can use scraps or you can use kit. For this option, I use the kit. My original quilt is just scraps. And for this quilt, I I'm using a lighter background so my stars are just going to be glowing. I cannot wait to finish my blocks and keep going and have some fun with it. And I can do one block at a time, set it to the side, another one, another. It maybe it's gonna take me a little bit longer, but this was fun. So I hope the same thing for you to have some fun in quilting. And you know what? The most fun it is when somebody else pick my fabrics for me, when somebody else cuts for me, I just wanted to enjoy this sewing. And that's what I go ahead and grab a pre-cut kit. And I hope you love that too. I showed you the quilt up. I quilted. Look at this. I used the Baptist fan on this quilt. I used the edge to edge design and I just finished quilting. And this weekend I'm going to put a binding on this quilt. I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful it looks it is going to be so special when i put it on my bed oh on a point look at this i have uh you can scatter the blocks anywhere you want it i went and shift all the dark towards one side and have light towards the other side and the question for this quilt is what design did i use to quilt the quilt let's see if you have paid attention so this has been wonderful those stars are 12 inch finish super simple so easy i am so excited for you guys and we have this kit in two options we have a pre-cut one 
and we have uh, in Lady Tulip, and we have it in Scraps. And the winner, whoever wins, is gonna get a pre-cut kit from me. How do you like that? Isn't that fun? So keep. Um, Sending the answer. Did anybody answer the question? We do, and I'm going for number 10 this time. Number 10 this time. So, so girls are answering, but we want, uh, you know, give a chance to a lot of girls to win. Yes. Mandy Sadivi. Yes. Mandy, and that was the Baptist fan. Yes. Thank you for listening. So I quilt my quilt using a Baptist fan design. So that's that one. And it's the end of our show. And the last quilt that I have on my table is so special to me because it was a gift to me this year. And with the end of the year, what more joy than make something to give it to somebody else. So this one was a gift to me, a friend of uh, mine, uh, Vicky. She have treated me for a beautiful antique quilt. It's a feather star quilt. Look at how gorgeous this quilt is. Those feather stars have an eight point star in the middle that it's applique. This is not pieced. This star is not pieced, it's applique to the background. So now why seems there just super simple. You make a background square applique and this antique quilt just tickles my elbow and inspire me to decorate this year with all the beautiful fabrics. So it is just gorgeous. And I hope I gave you a little gift too by sharing with you a code. So you just type the code called FAT8. And why FAT8? Because just for this weekend, we're gonna give you extra discount. Erin, uh, how much is the discount? 10% off. Extra 10% off on our FAT8. And, and just make, make sure that you spell that, that out. out. So it's one word, FAT8. So we'll put that in yes. the comments for you. And uh, wonderful. So remember, uh, when you put in the code, it's one word, uh, uh, fat eight, and then you're gonna get extra 10% off. There are already some nice discounts on our fat eight, and I brought some to share with you. I'm gonna lay them out on a table so you see what we have available. I love those. So look at all of the wonderful fat eights that we have right there and we have secret stash we have a uh, um, low nothings what it's wonderful background ones we have some uh, uh, seamstress oh i love the blue and white of course we have to have that practical magic i mean you can't go wrong to get some practical magic on sale girls you want to grab those and i also brought out the patterns so we run through them one more time so right there look at those uh fat aids that we have available that are going to be on sale just by watching this video putting that code in you can get that extra 10 percent off and i also have lady tulip right here we have strawberry and cream that just came in so grab your bundle they're gonna be limited this is only happening this weekend and then we have this beautiful secret stash so another really nice light if you need more light so those are just few of those this is our fat um uh, fat aid bundle that it is our retreat bundle that one will be also included in the deal so if you want it only the fat aid bundles you can use that coupon on so go ahead enjoy it and i brought it in my box just so you see it the two kits those are not on sale at this moment they're due yes we do have a quick question yes so is the retreat is the retreat fat aid bundle the only curated one in house that will apply Yes, okay. this is the only one that we're gonna apply and we only we have limited amount of them. So please don't be upset if they sell out, but this is the only one that we have, uh, that we do it in house, that it's the FAT8 one that we apply. Pretty much I have put out on a table all the ones that we are hoping for you to enjoy because those are the ones that I showed you in the quilts. So they are relevant to what we are doing. And speaking of what we're doing, I'm gonna run with the patterns one more time we have charm basket pattern we have be mine pattern today we have lady tulip pattern that we talked about it then we have teller shop we have holiday forest 
we had Liberty Star, we had Montana, Pioneer Log Cabin was delightful, oh, Alaska Magic stole your heart, put a spell on you, uh, Amaryllis for Christmas, and Sewing Star. So those are the few patterns that we went over. And I brought the pre-cut kits because they're so easy to just enjoy it. And this is our Alaska Magic pre-cut kit. Look at this, all the blocks just sitting, waiting for you to start stitching and have some fun. The next event that we have planned for you is our um, 12 days of Christmas. I am so excited for you and I'm going to spoil a little surprise for you for our 12 days of Christmas. We're going to give away little recipe cards with your purchases for the cutest eight inch baskets. So if you want to do that quilt with me, keep visiting our website. We're going to talk about it in next few weeks, but we're going to have a super fun special event for you guys, for everybody that get involved in 12 days of Christmas. So when you purchase those days you're gonna get a recipe card for free for a blog and then i'm gonna have a little quilt that i'm gonna show you we're gonna post it on our blog do videos you know the routine we're super excited about that so that's christmas stuff and then the next thing that i'm gonna announce is our block of the month and i cannot wait for you to see that project and i hope all of you signed up because you're going to want to when you want to work with this bundle but i promise that somebody is going to win this bundle today all right and my question for you is wow this is going to be difficult oh my goodness my question for you is oh i have to make it difficult yes i think you do need to make it difficult also do you no, the first person that answer. The first person that answer. And oh, we ask so, so many questions. So, um, oh, mm, you guys are so good. I, it's so tough to pick a difficult question for you. Da, uh, 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 uh. Uh -huh. Aaron, help me. Michael, I'm actually going to have Michael ask a question. He does know you best. He knows me best. Tell me. Tell me, Michael. Okay, well, this one's going to be a really interesting one. You girls, you girls are going to have to try hard because I want to know how many sunflowers does Adita have sitting on her table here? You can't see it, but that's okay. You're going to have to make a guess. Oh, that is such a good one. Yes. Do you want to bring that bouquet? We just spin it. We're not going to show the... So guess how many sunflowers I have in my bouquet today. You know me. You know how much I love fall. I love flowers. Fall is one of my favorites. But during fall, I usually just decorate with a little bit of pumpkin sunflowers and i just like suddenly get in a mood to start making quilts for the holidays so come on bring it in here so we have a beautiful bouquet of sunflower they just start opening up look at this look at this i'm gonna spin it now how many sunflowers do i have what do you think that's nope. actually great nobody, nobody yet nobody yet oh really close what? one off but in the meantime if you have any other questions i can answer them as we're trying to find out how many sunflowers do i have in this bouquet michael you are so good this is actually great for our future shows we maybe have like uh, squares laid out and gonna ask you how many squares is on a table so you're gonna have to really pay attention oh, and quickly we got it you got it we've got, got it got it yes oh, it just showed up here too. Go ahead. stop what do you got? okay so stop 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 so we have two winners we're right. gonna choose two winners we're gonna give up two yes we have to we have okay. to because our friends on fa uh, on Facebook are just amazing to us. Okay. Oh, we can. Mine is Beth Ann Smith. Fantastic. Uh, Facebook is Beth Ann Smith. And I have Trisha Moore on YouTube. 
and the total number was 19. 19 sunflowers in my bouquet. Look at this total luck, you just guessed it. Girls, each of you get a bundle from me from fabric that it's not yet available. This is my treat to you, it's our um, beautiful primrose collection you are going to love this fabric so I'm so happy for you please please make sure you email us your address and once you email us your address we can match it up we have been writing down and keeping track of it who won what but once we have your address we can ship it to you thank you so much for watching do you have any questions today uh, we did have a couple. Okay, let's do the two questions and then... Um, yes, we did have a couple of questions. And um, the first one was, uh, Teresa was wanting to know, what needles do you prefer for using applique? For applique, I, if I do um, uh, machine applique, I like the non-stick needles from Schmitz. If I do hand applique, I love the thinnest needle I can find, so it's nice and easy, but I like the bigger hole, so I use embroidery needle for hand applique because they're a little bit longer and the eye is a little bit bigger and it's easier for me to thread it in. So those are the ones that I like. It's just my personal preference. You know, it's like those old sneakers that you like and you keep wearing them. Mm -hmm. I maybe should go out there and try to see if you want to share with us which needles you like, if you have preference or you found something cool and exciting, I love to hear from you too. So this is one thing with not going to quilt market or quilt festival. Events like this are really, you walking through owls, you seeing all these different things. And a lot of times you can learn from quilters because they're doing a small little schoolhouses or little events and you can learn so many things. And I have to tell you, I still learn about quilting. As much as I wanted to say I know a lot, there is so much more that I can learn. And I look forward to learn with you and from you. Our next question. I just have one question that came in on Facebook. Wonderful. Is, what's the start date of the 12 days of Christmas? The start date of the 12 days of Christmas, we're gonna announce that on our next live show because we, we have it marked in, we're just finishing some things and getting some items in. And if they arrive on time, then we can ready, set, go. But you know how things have been lately with the shipping and everything. So we, we will announce this at the, our next live show or we send out a newsletter and let everybody know. We will put a lot of advertisement on our social media and everywhere else to let you guys know. So stay tuned. Yes, and our last question for the day yes. was Joanne, and she was wondering to know, it sounds like she's gonna be doing Stars Upon Stars, so and wanted to know a couple bundle suggestions maybe? Oh, Stars Upon Stars, are you kidding me? You can wrong, or you can go wrong. I would wait for January, probably, practical magic you can start on your stars with this one and then add some a little bit of this look at what i'm doing do you see what i need some light okay this this yeah so i would stay in this color sham but i especially love the pinks for your little squares so wait to january for your pinks but you can start with your stars right here in our secret stash and practical magic it would be so beautiful but of course actually that's a great idea maybe some quilt alone for stars upon stars next year i have promised you to make this quilt with you and just didn't have that right time right fabric so maybe next year is going to be all about that but also remember next year we're doing quilt alone every month one block from our seasons in blue book so what we're doing is the same thing that we do, have done it with patches of blue i'm gonna select the blocks from different quilts show you how to make the block and we're gonna make a fun little sampler quilt with the blocks but with every block i'm gonna share with you the technique and we're gonna talk about the quilt so you can also make the quilts if you would like to so we have a plan for next year 12 months we're gonna be doing one block a month from Seasons in Blue, and I'm gonna show the quilt in blue and white. I maybe show you also a red and white option. So that's that. I'm planning some cute quilt alongs. I 
probably gonna add to the schedule doing this wonderful project for stars upon stars i think it's time for us to do this together so um so many wonderful things we have block of the month we're gonna start our subscription boxes there's so many wonderful things i can't even imagine you guys gonna love me next year and don't forget prepare yourself for our mystery quilt next year i am so excited about that one too so and if you wonder where all those ideas come from, it's always early in the morning, around three, four in the morning, just can't sleep, just can't sleep, get up and start drawing, thinking and planning and enjoying and looking forward to quilt with you guys. So happy quilting. Thank you so much for another wonderful live show. And I hope to see you next week. Mm -hmm.